Hello and welcome back to Photo Finds. This installment for August 12th, 2014. I'm your host, as always, Nick Russo. Thanks for stopping by. Let's go ahead and get started. We have a few things to look at this week, but we're getting started out here in the parking lot of Disney's Animal Kingdom. Kind of unrecognizable, but you can't really always recognize a parking lot anyway. You can see Expedition Everest out there in the distance, but what we're here looking at is the construction going on. What they're doing is expanding the parking lot in, uh, you know, preparation for the Avatar expansion. I'm sure they are anticipating a lot more guest flow going on, so that's what they're doing out here. Moving up toward the front entrance, we can see some cranes out in the distance. They have been doing some construction for a long time, and they're going to be doing it for the next year or two. Now, the uh, lines for the baggage check were very long, longer than I've seen them in a while, and I think that's because they're trying to, you know... I mean, people are trying to squeeze in their summer vacation last minute here. There's only a few days left of summer vacation for the most part of the country, so there's a lot last-minute trips going on. As you come in here, this is the first time I've seen this Wilderness Explorer cast member up here with this skull of the animal that was on display in this exhibit up here. I'm not sure exactly what the animal was. I've never seen a cast member up here doing this, but they were, you know, very friendly trying to gather guests around and educate them about this animal. There were some construction walls up around the Tree of Life, which we'll see all around the park. Now, what they're doing is uh, getting some construction done for their Rivers of Light show that was announced recently. It's their new nighttime show that will take place. Some more construction over to the right of the bridge coming in from the main entryway. And here's that construction wall close up. It does go all around the Tree of Life, and it actually shut down... Um, it's tough to be a bug, so that is not open right now. It also shut down Doug and Russell's clubhouse here. There was a cast member out here. I think he was a supervisor, kind of, uh, you know, helping guests with whatever they needed, but this didn't seem to be in operation right now, this clubhouse. I believe that was the meet-and-greet area, if I'm correct. Uh, they had this new kind of contraption out here which you'll see what this is soon but they had some cast members out here preparing it and like I said we'll see what that is in just a second but before we do I wanted to get a picture of these blue lights that you can see emerging out from this building here behind the construction walls I wasn't sure what these were at first but I wanted to get a picture of them and what it turns out they are are projection lights that cast patterns onto the tree of life for the new nighttime show that's going to occur. Now here is what that contraption is. It's for this kind of mini show that goes on to promote the Flights of Wonder show across the way. This is about a five minute presentation that they do and this literally happens in an instant. Music starts a crowd gathers and these macaws kind of start flying out of nowhere. There's a large amount of them. I think there was about 20 of them. Some of them go right to the contraption as they're supposed to, and some of them kind of linger up here in the trees and are stubborn. But there's a bunch of macaws, and it, like I said, it's a five-minute show that they're doing to educate guests on the life of the these birds and to promote the show across the way, Flights of Wonder. <clears throat> and then in an instant, just as quickly as these birds came, the uh, music starts up again, and the bird master, that's what I'll call him, snaps his fingers and they fly over these guests here right above their heads and back to their sanctuary in the, uh, in the uh, Flights of Wonder theater. Here's another shot of those blue lights emerging out from another building and more construction walls here. Now... In my, in my edition of Photo Finds, what I like to do is point out some areas in the theme parks that are quiet. I've pointed some out in Disney before, I've pointed some out in Universal Orlando, but it's just something I like to do. If you want to get away from the hustle and bustle of it all for an hour and have lunch, I like to point out areas, and this is the one I found in Animal Kingdom. It's to the left. If you were to head into... Dino Land USA, before you get into the entrance of Dino Land, make a left, and this pathway here is very quiet. There's nobody over here. 
because there's no attractions. There's nothing over here. It's just a nice pathway to connect you from land to land. There's some picnic tables. And to the left of you is the lake. It's just a very nice shaded area. And I like to point out these areas, as I said before. So if you want an area, go ahead and check it out. It's very peaceful. And as we uh, make our way into Asia, I just got this picture of this guy here playing this instrument. I don't know what it's called. I know the guy on the left playing drums. Very impressive, I know, right? But I don't know the guy. I don't know what the instrument the guy on the right is playing. Has this guy, Has this Have these performers always been here? Somebody let me know in the comments. They were new to me. Over outside of the Cali River Rapids, they had this cast member playing a game with uh, children out here, just the one child at the moment, kind of mapping out areas on the map, you know, testing the knowledge of children. I wanted to get a picture of the uh, margaritas. They boosted the price up for the margaritas, as far as I can tell. I think I was here a few months ago, and the margaritas were only 10 or $11. They're now closer to 15 or 14.75. This is over in the booth in Asia, but we'll get a shot of another booth where I'm sure the margaritas were cheaper, significantly, a couple of months ago. Now over by the Tree of Life, this is over heading into Africa, some more construction with a cherry picker. Some scrims up for that construction. Again, this is for the the uh, River of Light show. Heading into Africa, some more brown walls over to the right. There's construction everywhere in Animal Kingdom right now. That's kind of the theme of this episode, just construction everywhere. So keep that in mind. It doesn't affect guest flow. It doesn't affect your day. Disney does a very good job of that. But um, just keep in mind, you're going to see a lot of construction if you head to the park right now. Now here is that... Uh, that other bar that I was pointing out, we're here to look at the price of the margarita. This is over by the Tusker House, and we're looking up top at that African margarita. A few months ago, that price was significantly lower. And we're over here in the Harambe, over by the Harambe Theater, where the Festival of the Lion King is, and they have these new palm trees that they're putting in. A small detail, but that's what we're about on the show. And up top of the uh, one of the buildings here, I wanted to get a look at the uh, these parkan lights that they have for the Harambe Nights. I just thought it was interesting seeing these lights during the day. They're very simple lights, parkan, kind of rusted with these gel filters over the top. Nothing too intricate. I just found that interesting. Now we're heading out over to the uh, exit, and on the way over, just some more construction walls up around the Tree of Life. As I said, they're around the entire thing, and they have some advertisement here in, uh, ensuring that it's tough to be a bug. Starring Flick will return soon up on this entry for cast members into the construction site. The construction has forced these animals out of their exhibit here. I think there were some birds and fish over here, that's about it. But they are out of their exhibit for now as the construction continues. And that's it for Animal Kingdom, guys. We're heading over to Universal Orlando now. These signs have been there for a week or two for Breadbox and Menchies directing guests up that staircase up to those new establishments. And we're heading into the Pick Shop now. If you don't know, Pick is kind of a novelty shop. I'd say it's the G-rated Spencers, but what we're here to see are these new kind of... I'd compare them to Disney's Vinylmations. They have these Despicable Me characters here, and I was talking to the sales associate inside of the store, and I said, these remind me of the Vinylmations, and he claims that Universal came up with these first. And these are actually special edition... Um, figures that they had from Comic-Con. He said these were only, they only made about 400 of these each. This kind of like crossover between Spongebob and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And he said, like I said, there's only 400 of these each and they range from about 75 to $200. Pretty pricey. But you could say they have uh, all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And they had a lot more. So if you're over at Universal, it's a pretty unique store. Pick, like I said, it's kind of a G-rated Spencer's, all kinds of novelty gifts. It's a very cool store, and it's always changing inside of here. From week to week, they have all kinds of new merchandise. So check it out if you're ever over on City Walk. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this week in Photo Finds, this installment for August 12, 2014. I'm your host, Nick Russo, as always. Thanks for stopping by, and until next week, have fun guys. Bye.